We're here with Thomas Alt, CEO of Mateo. Uh, how are you doing? I uh, just wanted to talk to our audience and see what what Mateo is up to, what's what's new, what are you what are you coming out with? I know you guys just launched an update to your SDK. Talk about yourself and the company. Yeah. So first of all, thank you very much for having us. Uh, it's my third year at uh, AWE. This year we're really seeing that there's a tremendous uptake for augmented reality in general and specifically for our own systems. Uh, we have uh, just recently announced that uh, there are more than 50,000 developers on our development platform, which is a huge milestone for us. In general, what we are seeing is that augmented reality falls apart in four distinct use cases. Uh, we see augmented really, uh, reality coming to outdoor navigation, to indoor navigation, really doing augmented reality on objects and doing augmented reality on humans. Now from a Mateo point of view, we've been in the industry for quite a bit. The company was founded 2003, early 2003. And uh, what we are seeing is that the field is sometimes lacking technical capabilities. And the big challenge is that you really want to have in augmented reality a seamless user experience. So we have uh, previously announced that we are building our own chipset to accelerate computer vision for augmented reality. And we're bringing it to the market. And here at AWE, we're actually showing the first prototype. In addition to that, like you said, uh, we are continuously launching new products. Uh, quite recently, we have streamlined our product portfolio and we've basically come out with a vastly modified Mateo SDK. And on top of the Mateo SDK, there sits the Mateo Cloud and the Mateo Creator, which lets you add content to the Mateo system in a quite easy fashion. Awesome, awesome. And you mentioned it was just about your third year coming to AWE. What have you seen this year that makes you think the technology is growing, it's progressing? Yeah, what's amazing about AWE it, uh, is that it's right in the center of the valley and uh, a lot of uh, really technology folks are finally coming to the conclusion that augmented reality is here to stay. And they all are visiting uh, AWE, and so it's been great networking with the people from the tech world. Anything else, anything you can see coming along in, within the next year or so that, that will help push augmented reality over the top for the general market? and bring the killer apps that we're waiting on? Yeah. Well, first of all, I don't think that there's a unique killer application for augmented reality out there. Augmented reality is essentially a technical capability which will enrich a lot of the applications out there. Of course, the Google Glass announcement and the launch of Google Glass is something which is uh, well perceived by the emerging augmented reality industry. And we believe that uh, the uh, bringing new hardware systems like glasses to the market, you also drive the need for augmented reality. And now one thing we have proclaimed previously is that especially uh, display devices need to have the capability of scanning continuously in your environment and finding information, picking up information. And if you want to do that in the form factor of an augmented class system, then you really need a system which does that low power and ultra fast. And this is also why we have started developing our AI engine. Makes sense, makes sense. So I'd like to thank you for stopping by and uh, talking with us at, on AWE.TV. Thomas out, Mateo. Thank you.